Hi folks, this is Patricio from Patricio International Variety Show and in keeping with our theme of alternative fuel vehicles and electric vehicles, I'm here today with Les Marsh who is a automotive engineer, developer of many different interesting ideas and automotive concepts. This is Les Marsh and uh, he has developed a, uh, a Miata, which I have a Miata too, which also intrigues me and um, his Miata is diesel power but it runs on a special fuel. You want to tell us about that one? Uh, right, it, uh, it runs on a bio-diesel, I'm sure everybody's heard of bio-diesel, but uh, uh, most, most of the, all of the Miatas are, are gasoline powered right. and uh, most of them on average will get uh, 30 to 35 miles per gallon, something, something in that uh, major range and uh, uh, I decided uh, several years ago after uh, Bill wanted to uh, try to get some you know, exceptional fuel mileage. So how many miles per gallon can you get? Yeah, this? I can, I can uh, get a measured uh, 61 to 61 and a half miles per gallon. 61 and a half miles per gallon on diesel fuel or your own creation. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Okay. This is what your normal Miata looks like, or similar. It's a, it's a gas engine, dual overhead cam, uh, four-cylinder Miata, Miata car, and it's fuel injected, and it's a gas car. Now this one here is what less looks like. You can see it's a lot different in the uh, in the engine compartment area. Tell us about this a little bit, Les. Yeah, my engine of choice came out of a 1979 Volkswagen Caddy truck. Uh, they were 50 horsepower diesels, and um, they were very reliable and very efficient. Uh, and the reason why I chose that particular engine was because of the size and the horsepower. Uh, diesel uh, engines normally are heavy and big and large, and thus I didn't have a lot of room, so I, I chose that engine, and, and I had one available also. Uh, I had to do quite a few modifications to uh, fit it in here. The Miata is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, so I had uh, uh, several problems in, in uh, getting all this uh, engine turned around, hooked up uh, with the uh, transmission and everything. So, the fuel system on this particular car is highly modified. I have to uh, put a heated fuel system on this car because I run the, the biodiesel fuel even in the winter time. Now, the biodiesel fuel will will gel in cold, real cold weather. I, I used uh, the coolant from the engine, which is hot water, and I plumbed it uh, so that the fuel lines are heated by that water and even the tank. The tank has a coil in it and the hot water from the radiator circulates through the tank. Thus it heats all the fuel before it comes to the injector pump, making the viscosity on that fuel good enough to burn. It's also a diesel engine versus a gas engine here. But they're both basically identical cars, except I get about 30 miles to a gallon in my Miata in gas, and Les gets 61 plus gallons in his alternative fuel vehicle which right. he creates the fuel and we're going to take a look at how that works here right now too. Yeah we're back here with Les Marsh and he has a uh, diesel powered Miata that he develops the fuel for himself. It's a biodiesel fuel that he has a certain procedure of uh, creating. Uh, let's take a look at it. 